the reef manta ray. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look at my kite. It's flying like a big bird in the sky. Oops, the wind got my kite. Wait for me, Hero. You found my kite, Hero. Hey, it's a water tank. Look at that. There's an animal swimming in the tank. What a weird looking animal. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Are you there? We found a tank with an animal swimming inside it. Hi, Leo. Wow! That animal looks graceful in the water. Can you find more information about it? I sure can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Katie, did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The animal you found is a manta ray. There are only two types of manta rays, and this one is a reef manta ray. The reef manta ray is the smallest of the two, but an adult reef manta ray can still reach a width of up to five meters. Whoa, that's really big. But the reef manta ray we found is much smaller than that. It's probably a baby reef manta ray, Leo. Newly born reef manta rays are just over a meter wide. Reef manta rays are found along the coasts in the warm tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. I see. So what do reef manta rays eat? Reef manta rays are filter feeders. They simply open their mouths while swimming and feed on small animals from the water such as shrimp and krill. Reef manta rays are independent creatures. After birth, a baby reef manta ray, which is called a pup, receives no further care from its parents. That means the baby manta ray doesn't need to go back to its mother. But the tank in our garden is too small for it to live in. We should bring the reef manta ray back to the ocean. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the Indian Ocean, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a reef manta ray pup. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're trying to find a nice place for the pup to live in. Reef manta ray pups tend to stay around coral reefs near the coast. Coral reefs provide many good places for the pups to hide from predators, like sharks and orcas. Unfortunately, Reef manta rays are hunted for their meat and supposed value in traditional Chinese medicine. This means reef manta rays are in danger of disappearing forever because of overfishing. What is overfishing, Ranger Rocky? Overfishing is when humans catch too many fish so that not enough fish remain. So if you want to help the reef manta ray find a new home, you should look for coral reefs along the coast. And avoid fishing boats. That's right, Junior Rangers. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a coral reef and some fishing boats. And on this side is a coral reef near a coast. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a coral reef and some fishing boats. And over there 
is a coral reef near a coast. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go there because the manta ray pup can hide in the coral reef from predators and there are no fishing boats that might catch the pup. Let's go! Hey, look! There are some creatures floating on the sea. They are sea jellies. Sea jellies are marine animals that swim in the ocean. Turtles and large fish hunt it for food. There are so many of them. Hey, what's that up ahead? It's Ranger Rocky. He's surrounded by a lot of sea jellies. That must be a sea jelly bloom. A sea jelly bloom is when a huge number of sea jellies appear suddenly. Ranger Rocky, are you okay? Hello, Leo. I am stuck in a sea jelly bloom. If I drive my jet ski, I might harm the sea jellies. So I have nowhere to go. Don't worry, Ranger Rocky. We'll help you. I have a plan. First, let's get a bit closer. Okay, Katie and Hero, I need to borrow both your backpacks. You want to use our propellers? Good plan, brother. Okay, here I go. Hello, Junior Ranger. Here, Ranger Rocky. You can use these to fly to our Jeep. Thank you, Leo. Hi, Ranger Rocky. Thank you, Junior Rangers. I'm glad I got out of that jello-like situation. You're welcome, Ranger Rocky. <laughs> so what should we look for now? The reef manta ray likes to live alone, away from other manta rays. So if you want to find a home for the reef manta ray, just look for an empty place in the coral reef. Not for a slab of beef or an autumn leaf but look for an empty place in the coral reef. I see. So not for a slab of beef or an autumn leaf, but, but look, look for, for an empty place, place in the coral, coral reef. reef. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the manta ray, you have to look for an empty place in the coral reef where there are no other manta rays. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be an empty place in the coral reef. Is that place empty? Hmm, no. There are sharks. They could eat the reef manta ray. Let's continue. That spot looks empty. Oops, it isn't. There's another adult manta ray living here. Let's keep looking. Is this place in the coral reef empty? Yes, it is. There are no predators or other reef manta rays living here. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found a safe home for the reef manta ray. Hooray! Yay! a reef manta ray pup in our garden. We learned that the reef manta ray lives along the coasts of the Indian and Pacific Oceans and that they like to live alone around coral reefs. So we went to a coral reef and found the manta ray a new home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Welcome, fact finders and fun lovers, to the wildlife trivia bonanza that is Lil Quiz. With me, Quizmaster Wobie. We're going to play a game to see if you know what flies, swims, and hops. Now, please give it up for our contestants Rara, Kokiko, Dill, huh? and me. Welcome, contestants.
friends, are you ready to wild out with the ultimate game of wildlife trivia? <laughs> huh? Ah! Today's question is... These animals are known for being great hunters. And it's actually the females of the species that do 90% of the work. Let's see if she's right. Ooh, sorry. That is incorrect. Wolves are excellent hunters. However, male and female wolves actually hunt together. This animal is very social and lives in groups called prides. Option A, a lion. That's correct. Whoa! <laughs> Did you know, lions are actually the only big cat that lives in groups. You've won our grand prize, a lion salon day. We'll be back with another little quiz next time. Let the cheese and tomato spill out by... 
poking holes on the sides? Of course. If we release the pressure slowly, then we can control how fast the cheese and tomato gets released. We can stop it from exploding. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Trust my own idea. 